with me now to talk about the Cornerstone Artistry Guild. The founder and an artist herself is with me in the studio. That happens to be Nancy Holmes. Nancy, Thanks. welcome to the program. Thank you. Nice to have Thank you me. back. So I understand that the Guild will be participating in the Miracle on King Street. Yes, we will be. And that's what, November 17th? That's never, November 17th yeah. from 3 to 8. Isn't where? Uh, we're going to be at Medium Effort. Nice. Um, on King Street. And um, the street will be uh, closed down for the sidewalk sale. But a lot of the stores will be open till 8 o'clock. And so uh, Tim and uh, Kathleen Curry, who own Medium Effort, um, decided to open up their art store and allow uh, the guild to go in there. So Great. it's amazing. Yes. Uh, Tim and Catherine have been amazing to the art community. Oh, that, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. It's nice that the, they are offering space. Yes. So that you, you artists can go in and yeah. showcase what you have. So how many will be participating? How many artists? Right at the moment, I have 12. Okay, so you have a Artists that will be participating. And what are they showing? Everything. There'll be all different types of mediums. I mean, every artist has their own little, you know, knack of what they'd like to paint. And yes. so it'll be a big variety of... Uh, different creations that they've de developed. So, so we're going to see landscapes, we're landscapes, going to see portraits, we're going to see portraits, anything and everything. Anything <coughs> and everything. I That's one thing as uh, the founder, I take everything. Good. I don't uh, tell my artists I only want a certain type of... Oh, no, because art is different. It's very subjective and yeah. I like them to just feel free and, and it doesn't matter uh, where the artists are in their journey, whether they've only been painting for you know a, a year mm -hmm. or 20 years, yes. or if they've gone to school, if they're self-taught, I welcome everyone. That's nice. Mm -hmm. So uh, where are your artists from? Some are from Brockville, uh, but well, also outlying areas? Most of them, uh, it, most Leeds and Grenville. I would say oh, we bring them in from Leeds and Grenville. My good. furthest artist is, is from Smith Falls. Oh, oh that's mm -hmm. nice. That's nice. So um, the art will be for sale that's going yes. to be mm -hmm. at medium effort. Mm -hmm. So when people go in and they actually see something that they really want, mm -hmm. they can t take it that uh, that afternoon. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, mm -hmm. So payments. Uh, how the, uh, Tim will be taking, the store owner will be taking the payments. Oh, so not to so worry. Not to worry. He t does. You cash know, is not an cash, issue. Debit, yeah, whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Good, good, mm -hmm. good, good, good. Mm -hmm. So um, tell us a little bit about um, um, the Guild itself. Like um, if people people have, if they've seen you throughout the summer at different places and they're mm -hmm. saying, hmm, I want to join that, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. Guild. Mm -hmm. how, well, how? Actually, uh, we were down at the sidewalk sales this summer mm -hmm. and I actually was able to take on um, three new artists that actually did that, <gasps> came to me and said, I paint and you know, wanted to know about my, our group. And my group is very much different than the other ones because there's no fee. Mm -hmm. And we don't have meetings. It's simple that I gather the artists, I find a, a, a venue yes. that I want them to come and show the work. They need to be proud of that. I have so many artists that don't want, like they, they feel like they'd like to show the work, but they just need that little push. Okay. And so, um, and yeah, so I call them, I, I send emails out to all my artists and I say, we have been, you know, like this show at Medium Effort right. and who would like to participate and it's up to them. Some will, won't participate this time, but will next time. Maybe next you know, time they might be busy. That's right. You but know, my biggest thing is, I mean, as an artist of only two years, I noticed so many artists. I kept running into people and I thought, well, why aren't we showing our work? We're, yeah. we're all just doing it at home. So that was my thing is to support artists, support each other and get our work out there. That's nice. Mm -hmm. You brought some paintings today. Please yes. tell us about them. Okay, so the first one I brought um, mm -hmm. is a very, uh, is, she's an amazing um, artist, is Valerie Elmhurst, and she works in all mediums. Yes. Uh, the one I brought today is called The Unfolding, mm -hmm. and it is done in oil, oil and wax medium. Valerie's mm -hmm. goal with each painting or drawing is to create a sense of serenity and optimism in the viewer. Nice. Okay. okay. Your next one? The second one I have is Shalini Joseph. She's a watercolorist. And she, Shalini, as inspiration comes from water, water is literally the stuff of life and creates its own world on paper. The one I've brought today is called Ether. Okay. All right. And the next one. Yes. This, this little girl is an amazing artist. Uh, is Sybil Carey. Mm -hmm. uh, she works in 
acrylics. Sybil has been painting for 73 years. Oh. Out of her, yeah. And uh, Sybil, uh, I've actually created a, a, a painting group at the Royal Brock, which allows a lot of the residents to come in and join us. And I knew Sybil for uh, two years now, but um, Sybil, uh, the amazing thing about Sybil is she comes in, she loves everybody's work, she has so much knowledge, and Sybil is showing in my show painting with me every day and she is 103 years old. Oh my goodness, isn't that nice? <laughs> she is so amazing, amazing artist and so supportive to help us and so like 73 years of knowledge. Where do you find that? Yeah, exactly. And she's still going, so 103 years old. It's probably keeping just, her going. Just comes to her yes, show, loves good. to sell her work and yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. So. Will some of the artists be there throughout oh, yeah. the day? Well, uh, throughout the day, yeah. uh, Tim's, um, um, he's giving us a back room, which is kind of small. Yes. So we're going to kind of be ro maybe rotating some artists through because... Which would be understandable. Yes, yeah. because, yeah. Uh, you know, people will also be coming in mm -hmm. to his shop to purchase. Yes. And uh, we want to make room. Uh, we invite everybody, like, it, it's not about coming and purchasing the work during, it's like, we love people just to see our work. Um, oh, so definitely. come in. We're, we're going to, we're going to have, um, hot apple cider. Mm -hmm. We'll be serving hot apple cider and Christmas cookies and just come in and, and, and have, you know, get a little bit warm and, and look at our art. And that's all we're, we're really about. We just want, you know, the attention. Obviously, we like to sell our work, but it's amazing. Yes. The, the, the um, compliments and the views are outweigh. Well, it's always nice to be able to talk to an artist, too, yes. when, when you're in front of a painting. It doesn't necessarily have to be theirs. No. But just to ask a question, mm -hmm. if, you know, you're not familiar with it or, you know, you do have something specific that you want to ask, mm -hmm. maybe the artist can, can answer that. Oh, yes. Oh, so, yes. I you mean, know, we're all, always, we all know yeah. each other. We know what we think and we <laughs> have our cards if you're interested. A lot of people, uh, we do commissions. So we get a lot of people that will come in and it's, it's it's nice to kind of do it for them like they've sold their farm. Yes. And they want what they would like their farmhouse painted or mm -hmm. their dog. Mm -hmm. We have a man from Smith Falls does amazing, amazing uh, pet portraits. And so, you know, some people want their dog painted. Yeah, they do. Yes. So, yeah. you know. Or their cat. Yeah. It, Horse. Anything. So we all, yeah. we all take commissions and, you know, we, we do get a lot of commissions uh, more uh, we get a lot of commissions for um pets mm -hmm. and 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 like i said family homes yeah. that that they're selling and they want you know that piece to always stay with them so oh, yeah they want a memory and it's kind of nice when we do that oh yeah because you're getting satisfaction knowing that you've given them the yes, gift that's right of remembrance mm -hmm, yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. oh that's awesome anything else about the um uh the show no it's just uh at, Tam at uh, medium effort on king street from uh, three until eight. Mm -hmm. um, I would like to actually add that, you know, uh, Tim and Kathleen's shop is a big supporter in the, mm -hmm. in the community. Uh, it, I want people to understand it's just not an art store. Like Tim uh, does, uh, has a, a wall that yes. he uh, shows art on. Oh. Different artists, he does them every month. Okay. So, I mean, if you're not, if you're just downtown anytime, you're not an artist, drop in because he always has beautiful paintings that are always for sale Good. and he changes out artists every month so they're big shout out to tim and kathleen for inviting us in and everything they do for the community well yeah because they're showcasing yeah art artists yeah that's right awesome mm -hmm. thank you for sitting down with me thank i really you appreciate very much. it thank you